Cast spell vacuum impregnation is a very useful technique used to fill in pores, voids, and cracks prior to specimen preparation. Note to be effective, the cast spell mounting chamber must be able to pour while the sample is under vacuum. It does no good to evacuate the system and then pour at the same pressure as curing. The process is to pull a vacuum, pour the resin, and then increase the pressure. The higher pressure will force the resin to better fill the voids in the sample. The benefits of cast ball vacuum mounting include filling voids in the sample, producing clear amounts by coalescing the air bubbles, and by filling in the open microstructural features to help support their edges for truer and more accurate analysis. Features of Pace Technologies cast ball mounting press include the ability to pour the resin over the sample while the vacuum is being pulled. This is the most important requirement for vacuum castable mounting. The mounting chamber can also cast multiple samples and is easy to use. Mounting with the castable vacuum mounting system. This system is set up so that we have this adjustable arm here. This allows us to pour multiple samples at one time. Taking our sample and our mounting cup, we'll place that into the chamber. We'll take our pre-mixed resin, put that into the chamber. We have this screw here, we can tighten this down so that the resin is securely in place. The first thing we want to do is we want to make sure that our molding cup is aligned so that when we're pouring, we're pouring into the cup and not all over the chamber. And then we want to make sure that this gasket is in place. We'll put the cover on. This valve here has this release valve, this release cock valve here. We want to make sure that that is snug but not too tight. What we want to avoid happening is this coming off too fast when we're increasing the pressure after we pour the resin over the specimen. If we do that, what will happen is that the increase in pressure is going to cause the resin to splatter and that's going to create a mess. Make sure that that's in the proper position. Connect up our vacuum line. And before we turn on the pump, we want to make sure that this valve on the pump is open. We'll go ahead and turn on the vacuum. The idea here is to pull the vacuum for about 15 to 30 seconds, perhaps even up to a minute. What we want to do is we want to evacuate the air from the specimen, but we don't want to hold the vacuum so long that we start to pull the dissolved gases out of the resin mixture itself. So after we've pulled the vacuum for the recommended amount of time, what we'll do is we'll turn off this valve back here. That'll close the system, and then we'll turn off the pump. We want to avoid running the pump for too long because what will happen is that the pump will start to heat up and then we'll start to vaporize the oil. And then we start getting oil leaking in the system. So at this point, while we're under vacuum, we want to go ahead and pour the resin over the specimen. And if we had multiple samples, we could pour that as well. So after that has been completed, we want to cure the resin at room temperature. This will actually push the resin into the voids, the pressure, the room pressure itself. So let's go ahead and release this slowly. And you can watch the vacuum gauge as the pressure is being equalized. Remove that, we know our pressure is equalized and we can remove the top cover. And our mount is ready to cure. It is critical that the vacuum is not pulled for too long, as this will cause the resin to boil as the dissolved gases in the resin are released. This is the most common mistake or perception that is made with vacuum impregnation. By boiling off the gas, it does not eliminate air bubbles 
because as soon as the pressure is increased, the air will go back into the resin solution. In fact, if the resin begins to cure before these air bubbles go back completely into solution, you could actually end up with more bubbles in your cured mount. The bottom line, do not boil the resin. There are three basic types of castable mounting resins, with each having a number of different types of characteristics in themselves. Epoxies are the most commonly used resins for vacuum impregnation mounting because they take longer to cure and do not shrink as much. Case Technologies Premium Epoxy is the ultra-thin, low viscosity epoxy. It will penetrate better because it has a lower viscosity, so it will flow better. Additionally, it has a relatively low exotherm, which results in a lower curing temperature. The results are better penetration, less shrinkage, and clearer mounts. Acrylics can be used for vacuum impregnation. However, they will cure very quickly, so once the resin is mixed, the operator has only a very short amount of time to evacuate, pour, and increase the pressure before the acrylic starts to pot or gel. Polyester resins, although not as commonly used, do provide very clear mounts and are especially useful for casting larger samples. Note that only the features that are open to the specimen surface will be filled with the castable resin. Therefore, the metallographer needs to be very careful not to overgrind and polish the specimen so that they open up unfilled features. To minimize this issue, the use of grinding and polishing machines having individual specimen preparation should be used. With these types of metallographic polishing machines, the initial grinding steps can be done with much finer grinding abrasives.